have you ever been in a in a situation where something has happened and it involves somebody and with that same person involved with you hear them like completely remix the whole you know story so you're sitting there like <laughs> You know, did that happen? Because um, I was there and it definitely did not go like that. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only Tamia Maya, and I'm about to film a long awaited topic I've been wanting to do for some time now, and that is what being in my 20s has taught me. I've been wanting to film this topic for a while, but due to the death of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and a lot of protests going on, I had to get in the mind space to want to get in front of the camera and film, I'm not going to lie. Um, I just had to take some time to get myself together. but. I'm a little better now so i'm not gonna talk a lot before i get into the video i just want to jump right into it i'm gonna remind you that if you haven't already subscribed please do so it's a like and comment on this video if you want to see more of me follow me on all my socials if you have any suggestions of whatever content you want to see from me either comment it down below or dm me on any of my socials but without further ado Get into it okay so the first thing i want to make clear is that being in your 20s is ghetto okay nobody told me how hard it was going to be emotionally mentally and physically being in your 20s and it's so hard being in your 20s because you just start to realize a lot that deals with like just a lot like you go through so many growing pains reality slaps you in the face I know it's different for some of us because some of us have had different responsibilities before we were in our 20s, but I feel like 20, like being in your 20s introduced you to a whole bunch of stuff that none of us were prepared for. No class in school can, can compare you for that. My own parents didn't warn me about how ghetto this was, so. I'm trying to get into the swing of things, but. So the first thing I learned being in my 20s was don't feel obligated to have your life together. And that's something I have to keep reminding myself about every day. And that has to deal with social media and certain pressures. Because we live in a time where everything is on social media. Everybody is posting any and everything going on with their lives. And sometimes it gets a bit discouraging, especially if it comes from people who are your age and it comes to people that you know or you know of and it seems like you're not doing enough and that's what i felt it just gives us with this facade that we're supposed to have everything together and really you don't have to i learned you you just have to take stuff day at a t like a day at a time you got to take things process at a time you know, it's not a sprint being in your 20s and getting everything together. It's a marathon. I mean, you could do a sprint if you want, but it might be a little raggedy. But totally up to you. Totally up to you. So the next thing I learned was the pressures of social media. And that kind of branches on to like my previous point And it might branch on to like my next couple of points. Because I feel like social media plays a lot into some of the things I've learned being in my 20s and being in your 20s and um, being on social media gives people a platform or an opportunity to act like they live a certain life when they don't for instance I don't necessarily like social media because people are always talking about what they've done what they're doing everybody's talking about their wins nobody's talking about their losses and what i learned is that people are fake people pretend people show off people get on social media and act like they have no struggle in the world people wake up and they just get hit in the head with blessings now don't get me wrong that works sometimes or you just get hit in the head with blessings but that's not how it is all the time and i had to learn that because getting on social media i would think that the way people would post 
they didn't have any struggle at all but you'd be surprised i don't even get everybody struggles with something doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter where you've been doesn't matter what you do everybody's struggling with something nobody people just aren't open to sharing their struggles and their wins it's like think about it why would i just randomly come up to you and tell you all the negative stuff i've been through I want you to think that I wake up, I don't have no struggles because I don't know you like that. But um, people pretend and I've had to learn that just because people are posting their wins and are posting everything good in their life doesn't mean that they're not struggling the same way I am. And that's just real. Um, and another thing, people on social media pretend, people on social media lie. Like, have you ever been in a in a situation where something has happened and it involves somebody and with that same person involved with, you hear them like completely remix the whole, you know, story. So you sitting there like, <coughs> you know, did that happen? Because um, I was there. It definitely did not go like that. That's how it is with social media. People pretend. And you just got to take what people say by a grain of salt. Everybody's struggling with something. I personally feel like the louder you are, the more you go through, and I feel like that like that's just more pressure for you to try and put up a front that you don't go through anything. Some people, and really some people are just fake positive on social media. The tea is exceptionally good today. <laughs> Who made this? I learned that what I'm doing, that's my race, and I have to run my race. What you're doing, that's what, that's what you're doing. The next point I want to bring up that I've learned being in my 20s was to be the bigger person. And this is something that I am still teaching myself to do. I'm still trying to grasp onto, cause it's really not easy being the bigger person, especially when you've come from a background and you're trying to change. And you know, it seems like when you're trying to change, that's when people are trying you the most. Ooh, girl. Don't get me wrong, though. I will take the high road, but don't play with me. I've learned that it's better for me to take the higher road, even though I don't like it sometimes. It gets tiring. It's better for me to take the high road because I've worked too hard to go back to my old ways and throw everything I've done away and I've learned that certain people only try me because they don't have anything to lose. And that's just not with me, that's with anybody. Some people try you just because they have nothing to lose. You do, I do. So, you know, if I get out of character one time, that's probably my entire future down the drain. You know, this isn't middle school where, you know, you guys get into a fight or an argument and y'all sit in ISS or y'all get suspended. And the way I feel about me getting out of character and not proving myself is because I've already been through that stage in my life where I've had to prove myself to people. I've had to prove myself to girls where I've had to show a side of me that I didn't want to show. That isn't the real me. I've already been through that. I don't have to prove myself now. That's where I'm at. If you feel a certain type of way about me, then that is on you. One of the most important lessons I've learned being 20, being in my 20s, was falling out with people is natural. Growing up. Growing up. I know I'm gonna be losing friends all my life for whatever reasons, I don't know, but girl, when I hit, what, 19, 20, it just seemed like I was losing friends left and right and I didn't understand it. I learned that you will either grow apart from people or y'all will fall out. And that's normal. No matter what, no matter what happened, it's normal to lose friends. For me, it's like I've lost people I was friends with for years. People I thought I were gonna be in my life forever and it just didn't work out like that. Where I went wrong was 
thinking that people wouldn't do me a certain way and they did. I had people I was friends with for so long stab me in the back. I've had people I was friends with and we had such a close bond and it broke. Either they crossed me or something happened, like they showed their true colors and they had to go. That ties into like my issue, like learning that it doesn't matter how long you've been friends with somebody. When it's their time to go, it's their time to go. Be it in my twenties was have fun. Stop, like I'm in my twenties. I have to keep reminding myself, stop living like you're 35, have fun. And you know, I guess it's hard because uh, you know, this is my experience. I'm in college, so um, I just, I'm so consumed with work. If you don't know, I'm a pre-med student, so um, I have to put in a, a little more effort into my schoolwork than others because um, I'm trying to get A's in my classes, y'all, because I'm trying to get accepted in medical school. So I spend a lot more time doing my schoolwork. And I'm the older sibling, so growing up, being the older sibling, my parents like basically conditioned me to be another parent to my younger sister. And I guess that kind of morphed me into being a homebody and just not really like having fun, I guess, because I had to always look after my sister. I always had huge responsibilities on me. And I guess that just became who I was. And when I got to college, I had to untrain myself from that a little bit. Not while out now, because school's important. I'm here for a reason, but have fun, you know, because these are years I'm not gonna get back. Um, even though being in your 20s, your life is falling apart in a few aspects, if not a few, all <laughs> at some time, but just have fun. Try to have fun. You know, you can't consume yourself with work and, you know, worrying about stuff Hard times don't, hard times are temporary. It's supposed to teach you something. You get through them and then you see the light, so. The next lesson I've learned being in my 20s was to reciprocate energy. And this goes for friendships. This, this goes for anything with anybody. I've learned to reciprocate energy and that was a hard lesson for me. Some people aren't meant to be in my life like that. So, I mean, I can't get mad at somebody for you know not oh, like plan their part of my life if i play the same game with them my last point of me being in my 20s was god knows where i'm going being in my 20s has led me to god the most um when i was younger i really didn't understand God, you know, of course, because I was younger, I didn't really get it. Being older and having stuff go on in my life and, you know, God showing me different things and, you know, just showing me that anything can happen, which has to deal with, you know, me losing friends, whether it, you know, be painful lessons, all this stuff I had to go through. I know it's a part of God's plan. I know he's not done with me. Nowhere near done with me. And, um, you know, it sucks that I'm saying I ha I've had to go through a lot to get closer to God. But at the same time, if this didn't happen, me and God wouldn't have the relationship we do now. Being in my 20s has been tough so far but it's been fun it's been very rewarding just like what I've been through in the past I'm gonna get through it it's not gonna kill me it's not gonna defeat me I'm not gonna let it do any of that thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I know this was kind of long I know it was kind of mellow I'm just sharing y'all sharing to y'all like what I've learned being in my 20s because it's been a little rough don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on all my socials. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys on my next video.
please stay safe because COVID is not over. It's not over, okay? Just ciao.